So I know I haven't made a video in about a week now. I've been really busy, but I am gonna head over to Shine Auto Project tomorrow and pick up some parts for the FD that I ordered a few months ago. The reason I haven't picked them up is just I've just been like spending funds here and there and paying bills and stuff. So I haven't really had the funds to pick it up, but now I do. And now I have the time and the funds to pick up the parts. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that tomorrow. And I'm going to take you guys with me. So hopefully Ken lets us uh, see the shop. I'm going to ask him if we could do a little tour of the shop so I can show you guys the Shine Auto Project. And we'll get back here and install the parts. So with that being said, I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, so we're about to head over to Shine Auto Project and pick up the parts for the FD. And let's get this going. So I just got back from Shine Auto Project and I was going to do a little tour around the shop, but the owner wasn't there. So that's why I didn't do that. But I did get a few clips as you guys saw, but we got the parts right here. Let me go ahead and show you guys what we got. All right, excuse the mess. I do need to clean it up once again. Um, so what I ended up getting is the Auto XC style side skirts or Auto X style side skirts for the FD and I also ended up getting the Mazda Speed style front lip for the RX-7 for the 93 to 95 bumpers I believe. I believe it's through 95, yeah. So I ended up getting that and we're gonna go ahead and unbox these and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what they look like and pro probably just like set them next to the car to see what they look like. All right, so here we have the Mazda Speed style front lip. We're gonna go ahead and open this thing up right here. Goodness. And you just get that like fresh smell of resin and carbon fiber slash fiberglass when, once you open this up right here. And this thing looks so sick. And the thing about Shine Auto Project is they make like legit parts and they make them like to the T. So they what they do is they use like, they use cars that are perfect that have never been in accidents. And then that's the way they make their parts. So that's one thing I like about them. Like all the parts that I've gotten from them so far fit perfect or close to perfect. So here's a lip right here and it looks amazing. We're gonna go ahead and mock this up next to the bumper, see what it looks like. And we're gonna mock up the side skirts. So let me go ahead and finish opening this up and then we'll go ahead and show you guys. Are sick. Before I show you guys what they're gonna look like, I'm gonna check myself, so just make sure they're good. All right, here we go. Looks freaking amazing, y'all. Damn. Now, my only question is how am I gonna put these on? I have an idea for that.
Damn, they look sick. All right, so I got the side skirt on and it looks freaking amazing. It, it like, the car is beginning to look complete. I also got the lip on, but you guys are gonna have to wait for that one until I make the actual install video. So I will go ahead and install these today and make a separate video. Uh, that one I'll possibly install tomorrow and include that in the video because I do need to go get some hardware for that. So that one I will install tomorrow. Um, I still, like the whole car is like, how do you say this is unaligned so i need to go ahead and line up the fenders line up the hood correctly line up the headlights line up the rear quarter panels line up the rear bumper bolt everything on but the reason i haven't done any of that yet is because we still need to do wiring so i don't know what parts i'm gonna end up taking off but one thing i know for sure is i got to line up this whole front end before i install those side skirts just to actually you know what i could just use the I guess I could just use the line of the rear since that is completely straight and then just go from there and then keep drilling and then I'll try to line up the fenders as best as I can so that way the side skirt is going to sit correct. Also the lip, that one's an easy install so I'll go ahead and install that today. And I'm going to show you guys how to install the lip on these, it's pretty simple. And yeah, just basically the car looks freaking amazing, it's starting to look more complete and the front end still is still missing a little bit more i still need to go ahead and get a couple more parts for the front end just to make it look complete and make it flow with the rest of the car but yeah so far the car looks amazing and the side skirts flow really well with the rest of the car except the front end because i still need work on that but the rear end is complete the side is complete and now the front just needs a little bit more work but that's almost done so that's a good thing so i'm sorry to leave you guys hanging on this note to where the stuff isn't installed yet but trust me it's gonna look amazing once it is done and that ugly cardboard out of the way and then i do need to clean up my floor and all that mess but the car is looking really good i still need to lower the vehicle more on the rear end and possibly the front end i need to go ahead and check the camera on both ends and make sure it's all even and aligned before i line up the fenders but with that being said i'm gonna end the video here i hope you guys enjoyed and i know it's kind of a short video but the next video will be worth it i promise you i'll go ahead and walk around and show you guys what the whole car looks like once the lip and the side skirts are on correctly and i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the hardware i use for this and the hardware i use for the lips so stay updated make sure to like subscribe and comment down below we'll be back with another video so make sure to stay tuned this is to be continued so once again ed rains keep on rotating peace